welcome to a special event, the first David Does Doom video recorded post Doom World hack. My name's Emily Birkenstein, and if you send your credit card number into the David Does Doom form, then I'm sure we can work out a deal that benefits both of us. Uh, the music's a bit different here. This is uh, Super Pecan Man's uh, collection of old wads that he dug up from an old hard drive, uh, estimated around 2002, I think. Uh, so this is Lil Pecan, and the uh, objective of this is just to see if any of these these ideas are worth revisiting. Um, so let's make a start and prioritize what we're going to shoot first. So uh, that's a secret. <laughs> it's not a secret, it's just a wall that uh, was never quite aligned. Yeah, I'm uh, going to continue my philosophy of finding the good in things in this video, although uh, it may be a challenge at times. Well, already starving with ammo. I wonder... Uh, well, no, that's not a door after all. Hang on a minute. All right, okay, so I thought I thought that was a missing upper texture, but uh, we're fine. The music is also by uh, Super Pecan Man, circa 2002. And I was warned about how bad it is, but this, this actually isn't uh, terrible at all. Just a little bit of a uh, dun 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 atmosphere. Oh, we've got another monster. Uh, I wonder if I can just uh, push past him. Whoa, no, maybe not. That's got to do it. Okay, there we go. You know, I showcased my terrible first map. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I showcased my terrible first map, and uh, it was definitely <laughs> a lot worse than this one. This one uh, entirely works. It has a uh, humanly possible balance of monsters. It doesn't give you the big power-ups. I'm wondering if it's worth going for this. And I'm not sure it is with 54 bullets, but it does give me a plasma gun. Oh, that was a bit of luck, wasn't it? Oh, his hit scan attack goes through there, as it turns out. Right, I'll just be chainsawing the archfile then. What? Let, let me just check to see if all my body parts are present and correct, because uh, I seem to have achieved a miracle here. I'm sure the Revenant will soon uh, end my revelry. Well, that's giving me a leg up. Uh, what did what did that do? There's still somehow two secrets hidden away in here. That's an, oh, hang on a minute. That isn't an exit switch. There we go. Yeah, I should have uh, been clued in by the monster count. Um, uh, I feel that some more time could have been spent on this outside area. <laughs> yeah. But you know, at that stage in your map making, you're probably just impressed you can get an outside area working at all. Let's uh, just ignore them. Yeah, you've got the classic stacked doors because uh, at this stage they didn't know how to um, do a little indent for the door, so it only went up part way through the wall. That is an exit that time. I am curious about these other two secrets, though, and where you could possibly have uh, stashed them in a map this small. Uh, uh, it's, it's here, isn't it? Okay, thank you. Still not sure what that did. Oops. Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Yeah, okay. There's Eric. Oh, 
All right, you get the idea. All right, jingle bells, we've finished the equipment locker. Let's go to reactor unit two. Now, have me warned, this is quite a mean one. Putting a chainsaw around the corner, chain gun around the corner, oh, Jesus Christ. I've read someone saying on Doom World this morning that uh, you should actually try to get used to using the rocket launcher on pain elementals because it's really fast and uh, speed is what you want. All right, let's uh, grab one of these. And... Okay, this is more like uh, one of my old wads now. Just stick the big power ups in there. Have fun with those. I've got one. Yeah, I can't imagine playing this from a pistol start. And about there. Ah. You're not winning at the crucible with a shot like that. I just remembered recently about uh, how in Britain, cats famously love to watch the snooker on the television because it's got all the brightly coloured balls uh, going around. And I tried showing uh, Pepper or Coco a match, but she wasn't very interested. At the moment, uh, Pepper is uh, absolutely fine after her uh, audible fall during the Wolfenstein video. She's uh, sleeping in a little cat bed. I've just put on the side table next to my desk, and that stops her from wandering all over my desk and uh, sitting on the button that raises it up and puts it down. I thought that was going to be a trap. Ah, the trap came later. That's actually... <laughs> That's actually more elegant than uh, a lot of uh, much uh, more advanced bots I've seen. Make sure that the surprise comes uh, a bit later. You could have peeled all these walls away and just made a completely different room. <laughs> Come on, Dar, go down. Oh, it didn't. Oh, I've never seen him um, stumble on the revival animation before. I'm going to need something else to get through here. Thankfully, there's a backpack. I'm doing pretty well at uh, close quarters combat here. Uncharacteristic uncharacteristically. That's exactly the word I wanted to use. Right, what's the best approach for that spider? Oh, it turns out blood is harmful here. Yeah, I should have remembered that, honestly. Let's go back to the entrance and get ourselves a bio suit. Ah, she didn't notice me. That's great. All right, we've got through the blue. Does this give me any advantage whatsoever? I should mention, by the way, that uh, two wads were provided uh, in this package. Actually, quite a lot of wads were provided in this package. But um, there's one that's uh, called Original and one called Fixed. This is a fixed one uh, that removes all the uh, bugs that made it impossible to complete the game. But otherwise stays pretty faithful to uh, 
how the levels were laid out and textured and everything uh, as they were. Whoa! When did I open that? Up? Uh, again, uh, the the idea of pistol starting these, as was uh, warned against <laughs> in the uh, readme. Is it that switch? It, it can't be that switch, because um, I'm doing two things at once. I seem to be running out of, uh, uh, my soles of my boots have melted. So what was it? I, I, I went down into the uh, spider's lair and just had a bit of a good time with the arachnotrons. Oh no, I thought I've already been down there in this save. So what was it? I still don't know what it was, but there it is. Um, rocket launcher? I don't know. No, he's far too close. I'm gonna have to let them out, but then the arch will start reviving everything. Why not? Ah. Come over this way, then. We'll do it the hard way. Can you not fit through the door? Is that the problem? That's uh, twice I've done that, which is twice more than I usually like to do it. Uh. Okay. Couldn't quite tell there was already a green tint to the screen. Um, this is an interesting puzzle, isn't it? Oh! Fancy doing that after I've made all that effort with Nitro. That wasn't aimed at me, but I caught the blast damage. That one was. Ah, uh, I've got a cacodemon this time, but it does help with the infighting a bit. Yes! Yes! Okay, we're past it! And I don't... <laughs> and I don't just mean my, uh... The prime of my Doom playing age. Uh, uh let's set these off just for a laugh, shall we?
Oh, that would have been good to know earlier, wouldn't it? Oh, I did exactly the same as this in my first map. Not knowing the Cyber Demon was uh, immune to blast damage. I think I'm helping out the player here. <laughs> uh, um, this isn't going to be much fun, is it? Ah, this is going to be a lot of fun. You skeletal wanker. This is... <laughs> this is like a sort of Doom Olympics for BFG control. It's like a, a study in how to do it correctly. Which I will fail. There we go. So yeah, it's not it. <laughs> Let's do that again. I'm very fragile at the moment. One slightly grazed elbow could be the difference between life and death. I'm just uh, checking up here to see if there's any health I left behind. Oh, there is. One stim pack. Put a plaster on it, it'll be fine. So I suppose that means I can also uh, BFG this uh, spider. Oh no, I, I, but I, I, I'm going to have difficulty with that because uh, I don't have any uh, super boots. What do you call them? Brad suits left. All right. There we go. Now what? Is there any, uh, any more switches I haven't pressed in there? I'm assuming that uh, that uh, part of the map's beyond the yellow door. It looks like it is. Uh, the only thing I can think of is uh, if this imp platform comes down, and it doesn't look like it does, I'm not going to be alive enough to enjoy it anyway. So what, uh, what am I aiming for here? <laughs> Whoop! Make sure not to touch that. How do I get across? I, I... Is that just a monster using the lid? Can't be jumping, hadn't invented that in 2002. <laughs> Let's do a little uh, exploration in the editor. So from UDB I can see that uh, this is tag 12, which is related to this sector here, which I think is the crate in the corner of the room. Uh, that's going to be a switch, which itself is tied to that switch that I pressed over here. And uh, perhaps I just didn't notice that uh, the switch had been revealed there. Uh, now I feel faintly stupid. Let's go back to the game. It would be... yeah, I'm staring right at it. Oh, but I've still got to... I've still got to get out there. Oh, this would be a level restart. Uh, can I just have a soul sphere, do you think? I'll do. Thank you very much. All right, we have got the gusted creams. And we are on our way. Oh, I was expecting... Oh, I got the one up there as well.
Yeah, uh, the... Would it be nice to just give the BFG, rather than hide it in a secret, although with the uh, level of secret it required to find it, 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 it gave it anyway. Because um, this map is definitely reliant on it. Oh, you've got a... You've got an arch right there. Where did you all come from? What What is going on here? Ah, that's the end. I'm just, I'm actually going to just uh, quick load this to get a look at some of the bits of I missed. Whoa. Oh, that's very mean. Look at that. They've built the stairs too high. I was going to say this uh, lava doesn't hurt me, uh, but it's a carpet on closer inspection. Does this work? No, it doesn't. Good. How many clips was that? Oh, just two. Okay. Ah! Okay. Those bits hurt quite a lot. The others around them, uh, absolutely fine. All right. Well, that was reacting in the two. We're going up the river and down the river simultaneously, both ways. Here we go. Ah. The classic enemy is staring at the wall. Okay, yellow key. Yeah, you're, you're having trouble with the teleporters here because you don't know they need to be aligned to the grid yet. Oh, nice uh, sort of lighting here. I suppose by lighting I mean darkness and some candles. <laughs> Looks like we're going for quite a cramped uh, maze this time. I don't know why I used that candelabra. Is there a little uh, switch at the bottom of it that turns it on and off? Uh, did I not come this way? Hmm. Uh, presumably this one. Oh. oh, hang on a minute. Don't need this. Oh, nice picture on the wall there. Reminds me of somewhere I know. Interesting little uh, console made out of uh, bits and pieces. Alright, I'm back at the start. This time with the other key. Hold on a minute. That wall is not real. Doesn't seem to have uh, prevented it from blocking me there. <laughs> Wonderful bit of design by the UAC here. Uh, making sure that their uh, doors are properly indicated, but only after you're able to open them. Stick a BFG in that as soon as we can. Oh. 
Not doing too well on the health front here. Oh, that's where that card was, okay. Now these deal- uh, uh, there must be a monster blocking line. <laughs> They must. Where'd he come from? No, really. How did the lost soul get in here? Oh, I see. I see. He was biding his time all that time. Now, the question is is this floor gonna hurt me? I've never heard the end of that sound before. Oh. Casually chopping through a load of them. Why is there an icon of sin here? Why are there multiple icons of sin here? Bloody hell. No, I'm not doing this. This is impossible. I might, I might be able to do it. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Actually, is it just the heads that make the sound? <laughs> is it the heads that make the sound and not the launchers? I can't remember. I need to look up my own video. There we go. Right, here we go. So whoosh. That's that fireball noise, by the way. Oh, come on. How did I get this unlucky to get two arch files? Oh, right, right there. How do I get out there? Oh, sorry, mate. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, teleporter here led outside. Uh, the amount of strength is still increasing. Oh yeah, I hear it. I hear it. Whoa, okay, didn't quite make it. Let's never mind. Pick yourself up and keep going. How is this not the end yet? I saw something interesting in, uh, quite early on in the first ramp, I think it was, where it used the Icon of Sin as a timer. You discovered it mid-level and then it turned on and then you had to run around collecting things, like on Finder's Keepers. All the time knowing that the more time you spent, the stronger the Icon of Sin is going to become. Wasn't bothered too much about me that time. Imp wearing some brains on his head.
That's the end. Okay. That was an intense map, wasn't it? Starport! What are we doing this time? Uh, he, I heard another spider mastermind. <laughs> this is the Imperial March. Little pictures of the sky uh, hanging around the level. This is what happens when you use uh, the the actual sky textures, because they are textures, you can place them like anything else. Woo, that's a lot of spiders. Alright, a cat in the badges. Uh, that doesn't do anything. So it's, inter it's interesting how, on when I, one end it's the actual outside, and then you've just got a picture of the outside, like someone who's got the uh, least desired office in the center of the building and uh, just hangs up some pictures of palm trees. Oh, here we go. Ooh, not quite enough room to hide. Oh, have that plasma gun there. Do I just have to wait until uh, a monster happens to lower it? Or is there... Yeah, it's there, okay. The rocket launcher. Thanks. All right. Now I suppose if we can get rid of this racket. We can uh, go to where that blue key was uh, preventing us from going. Um, where... where now? <laughs> I, I, on the list of things I don't get, this door and that switch is uh, quite high on them. Uh, no, not that way. God, I can't hear myself think. Oh, there it is. Okay, what now? Still having trouble with this. Actually, can I get them to fight? That's very good. Am I... What is going on? Aha! That's the way out. Ah! I don't know quite when I picked up the blue key anymore, but that's one of the doors. Oh yeah, it was before those switches. That's the exit, but it's uh, locked with a yellow key, and I'm about to find out where it is. I hope. Well... That was a hit scanner party. There's the red key. Oh, that's like... It's like Space Invaders. 
Okay, Mega Sphere there. I don't quite need it yet. Just uh, provoking some more infighting. And here's the red building. I thought I had uh, auto aim turned up. Oh, no, no, no! Way! Oh, no! Well, out of the frying pan into the spiders. I'm not wasting the time on this. Right. Uh, there's another chainsaw. I can't deal with the way you put such obvious secrets in and then they're not secrets. <laughs> I'm well aware, by the way, that this is uh, talking to a uh, 16-year-old something who doesn't exist anymore. Uh, he's not dead, by the way. I should clarify that. He's just older now. Um, so I wouldn't uh, talk about beginner's maps if I were addressing the beginner directly like this. But sometimes it's fun to look back on what we made and uh, and uh, laugh at what we considered good game design and tolerable things to play. But just to, just for the uh, fascination of being able to create these things. I mean, how many other 3D environments could you make in uh, 1995 on a home computer? This 3D construction kit where imagination goes to die. I'm no longer sure what I was doing. Alright, well, it seems to have lowered the yellow key anyway, so... Uh... I think that we, the thing we learn most about uh, levels as we get more aware of uh, level design, I think, is... Uh, at the moment, this isn't so much a level as a list of things that the player has to do. <laughs> It's very, uh, segmented. And I think as we get subtler at that, uh, the level comes more into play. I, don't, I really don't know what I'm talking about just now. Here's a Dockside Ambush! All right, we've uh, plugged in our little late track. <laughs> Took me a uh, moment to actually uh, recognize the song because all of two unlimited songs are exactly the same. <laughs> Other teleports. The trouble is, I can no longer remember which teleport I went into. Is it this one? Fantastic. Oh, oh hello. Well, I see that uh, we're going for the uh, choice between two teleporters. There's the docks. 
What do we have here? Oh, that's the level entrance, so I'm not going back there. I told them not to construct a navy in a completely landlocked country, but they wouldn't listen to me. There's the door disappearing into the sky. Maybe it's on a it's on a little frame, and it's just a picture of a door on rollers. I am the captain now. Yeah, you can just bypass that bow with a bit of skill, and un unfortunately, I don't have it. Oh, hang on a minute. Two switches. Okay, that lowers that. We'll get into this boat. I want to have a word with the designer of this boat's electrical systems. Another door somewhere. So this one? That, no, I've been there. Whoa, that's a door and a half. Uh, there? Climb on board, Captain. Okay, right, so having done that, we now trek all the way back to the blue door. Uh, so that was the right... what's this do? Oh, I just sent you back to the start of the... okay, so annoyance as a game design. And I do like the boat theme, though. I think that's even quite well constructed, uh, considering this was uh, made so long ago. Uh, speed 2 cruise control. Oh, are we, um... Please tell me we're staying in the same theme. Yeah, we are, okay. So now we've, uh... We've sailed the boat, somehow, through a wall to the, uh... Next tech base. Well, uh, maybe let's not turn all of those on. Oh, I thought there was a revenant round there. It's round the other corner. I didn't know they could shoot that quickly, Revenant. <laughs> so 
So, so what's going on with it? Are these just sort of massage beds or what? <laughs> that bit in uh, Die Hard 2 when they're on the luggage conveyor and somehow there's a big squasher at the end of it. <laughs> Which uh, definitely explains the state of my luggage whenever I've uh, flown with EasyJet. Does EasyJet still exist? I don't know. background music for the first time. Oh dear. Demons all aboard the Titanic. Got a bad history of engineering hubris, haven't we? Built the Titanic, said that was unsinkable. Sank immediately. Not even a couple of times after it sailed the Atlantic. It, it sank immediately. Um, uh, the R101. Uh, where they said, oh, let's try going all the way to India. No, we don't need to test it. It's going to be fine. And they got to France, which is the equivalent of your back garden in this grand scheme of things before it fell over. Oh, cruise control. Deep Blue Sea is next. And uh, there's the standard uh, Doom 2. Uh, what is this? This is map 7. Uh, I'm done. Let's just do this, because uh, map 7 is the last of the mod. There is a map 8, but it's unfinished and uh, uncompletable. So it was uh, put into a separate file. But my memory is not what it was, is it? It is harder than it looks using the muscles in your mouth to talk and the muscles in your brain to think and the muscles in your hands to actually play the game all at the same time. It's like juggling while riding a bicycle. And my favourite phrase like that is, uh, like putting a live octopus into a tube of Pringles while your house is burning down. there are people that make money out of just talking nonsense like this and playing games. I do like the uh, submarine base as well. It's where you uh, hunt for Red October. I 
interesting they uh, kept their toxic waste uh, segregated, that's nice. Um, was it round here? Yep. All right. I confess I got the pistol out by mistake, but I'm um, just going with it. Okay, let's come back here with the blue key. I think what I was trying to say before that um, early on you just uh, do all these linear things. You, you, you encounter a blue door, you know you're going to come back here with the blue key later on. Um, and later on you start to open up the player's movement and uh, make it less uh, linear throughout the map. There's still one path you have to take, but it's, um, it's disguised in among open areas and uh, choices and things. So many switches. <laughs> Penny went through a phase when she was, uh... She, she was discovering the inherent comedy of words that started with a B sound. And she'd, uh, replace them. This is my, my computer, it's my bomb computer. Are we watching a video? And then she tried doing it to the Nintendo Switch and uh, we stopped it. Where is that blue key? There. In here. I feel it should have been here, or something should happen here. Oh, okay. There it is, I suppose. And that's quite a nice, uh, door, uh, uh, shortcut back to where the player was, so they don't have to traipse all the way back. You can see little, uh, things being learned as this one progresses. It's like when you pass someone by on the pavement and you keep on uh, moving in the same direction. And uh, that's the end of uh, this level, and indeed the ward. We are back in Tricks and Traps, and uh, thank you, Super Pecan Man, if that is your real name, uh, for exposing your uh, early maps to everyone, uh, because I think they are a fun learning experience, looking back and uh, seeing what was I going for, uh, and which one of these ideas could actually work, uh, if given some more time and uh, a more developed brain and uh, thank you very much for watching etc etc good night <laughs> <laughs>